It was the best of times. It's the worst of times to be a Formula One fan right now. It's the best of times because off the track, there is so much drama. It makes an episode of keeping the Kardashians look like a bad soap opera, like Days of Our Lives or As the World Turns or General Hospital. It's the worst of times because... Well, it looks like Max is going to win like 20 races out of the 24. And who knows? He might win them all. But all this drama is compelling. It's crazy. I mean, the FIA is investigating the FIA and concluding. And you know they're going to conclude. Come on. They did it before. They did it before. They're going to do it again. They're going to conclude that the FIA did break some rules or Ben Suleiman broke some rules, but then they're not going to do anything about it because the FIA can't do anything about the violations that the FIA broke. Are you with me? Are you with me? Like, subscribe, comment, America F1. What? So it's, they're saying that Ben Suleiman is under investigation for last year's Saudi Arabia Grand Prix in which he kind of suggested or told people that they shouldn't penalize one Fernando Alonso. Then he also allegedly tried to tell people that to find reasons why not to certify the Las Vegas Grand Prix track. I mean, who is this guy? I mean, is he not drunk with power? But it also shows you how not only corrupt the FIA is with all these great um, whistleblowers or one whistleblower out there telling us all these things. But remember, this was last year that these things happen. So they knew, the FIA knew, people working for the FIA knew, they all knew, they all knew, they all knew, all the way back last year. But it's just coming out now. And the only reason it's coming out now is because all the things that are going on in Red Bull, because all the things that are going on with Christian Horner, because all that whistleblowing over there, so now somebody else feels safe that they can dump some other stuff. Now, is it one of these things where, look over here, but don't look over there? See what I'm saying? Because they always bring out stuff to distract you. So now let's talk about Ben Suleiman. Maybe we'll forget to talk about Christian Horner. But guess who's not going to forget to talk about Christian Horner? Josh Verstappen. He ain't forgetting. Helmut Marco. He's not forgetting. Helmut Marco even came out and said that, and they never tell you these clauses in their contracts unless they want the public to know to get the public sentiment in their favor. Okay, they never will tell you that. Okay, but listen, <laughs> it's just great. I mean, this stuff is great. I just, ah! So. Okay, 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 okay. So, what Helmut Marco said was that Max Versteppen has an out clause in his contract that if Helmut Marco leaves the team, that Max Versteppen will become a free agent. Now, not only that, not only that, Josh Versteppen was seen in the paddock with Total Wolf. Because he's letting everybody know, well, Max doesn't have to be at Red Bull forever. He has other options. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's silly season all over again. It's silly season on steroids. Who's going to win? Is is like Helmet Marco, is he Darth Vader? Or is it Christian Horner? Is he Darth Vader? And if he's Darth Vader, then who's Luke Skywalker? Who? And the best part of all this is one Lewis Hamilton just sitting back looking around at the chaos that the FIA and F1 is in and laughing 
because this is what karma looks like. Let me say it again. This is what karma looks like because we all know about AD 2021 and all the Red Bull fans were, hey, it's Max, he won and blah, blah, blah. And we'll hit the whole season and he could have won in Baku and oh, if he wouldn't have knocked him off in Silverstone, blah, blah, blah. But all the drivers after that happened came up to Lewis, not only consolidated him or, you know, consoled him, but they also said, man, that was effed up because they all know the rules. We all know the rules. All of us that have been watching Formula One know the rules. So if Ben Suleiman, if he could try to overturn Fernando's penalty, and if he could also try to stop Las Vegas, the inner entertainment capital of the world it's not Hollywood the entertainment capital of the world as far as for us adults if he could do that then you know he might have a hand in AD 2021 and Moss is the fall guy it's all right in front of you ladies and gentlemen it's all there for you to see all you have to do is connect the dots now even furthermore it's said or alleged or leaked, however you want to call it, that Christian Horner actually tried to get a majority stake in Red Bull Racing without letting the Austrian side of the family know. Because, you know, Red Bull is a Thai company, right? Its ownership is Thai, you know, the majority ownership. That's the majority of the board. And that's the backing that he has. He has... The, the backing from the soft or the, the drink company. Now, Helmut Marco and Josh Versteppen and Max Versteppen, they're all part of the Austrian arm, right? And so now it's a battle between the Thai side, the Austrian side, between Josh Versteppen and Helmut Marco intertwined with Max Verstappen just kind of sitting back and watching it all happen with Christian Horner. Because Christian Horner, he saw how much money Total Wolf had made with a stake in Mercedes, and he's saying to himself, hey, I'm the longest running principal. I brought all these championships to this squad. What about me? Where's my compensation? Why am I not a billionaire? Even though he makes a crap load of money, because if you saw Drive to Survive and you got to see his house and his vineyard and all this stuff, I mean, he's, it's not like the man's hurting. But I understand where he's coming from and saying, well, if Total Wolf is getting all this money, where's my money? Give me my money. Money, money, money. Makes the world go round. So he also wants his piece of the pie and he's also saying that if he wins the battle max can walk helmet marco can walk adrian newey can walk we'll just get two other drivers we have a dominant car for this year and next year and <clears throat> any of the top drivers can win in this car except for you know well it seems checo perez but Maybe with the, well, you know, maybe how he looked in the last race, maybe he could also win too. But you know, we all know Alonzo could win in that car. We all know Hamilton can win in that car. We all know Leclerc can win in that car. We all know Sainz is, looks like can win in that car. Russell, maybe not Russell, but even Norris probably could win in that car, right? And and maybe even um, Bottas is probably... Valtteri probably can win in that car because he's very consistent. We saw what he did at Mercedes. And maybe even Alex Albon can win in that car. I mean, it's so 22 seconds. Max's car was ahead of Checo's car. And Checo. So, it's the best popcorn going right now. But the crazy thing is, and we all know it, and we all secretly know it, nothing's going to happen. Christian's going to continue. Max is going to continue. Ben Suleiman 
not going anywhere. But we can all hope and pray that Red Bull explodes for all for the cheating, for AD21, for all the bad things that Christian Horner has said, the bullying and the commentary and the <sighs> the way Helmut Marco talks about Checo, the way Max Verstappen's girlfriend's dad talked about Hamilton, the way they were talking about Hamilton like he had really, you know, really, really did something bad when they had the crash in Silverstone and oh, the kids are they're talking about our kids at school and you're cheating and you're talking about that people are saying that you're cheating and that's hurting the kids but you maybe you should have thought about that before you cheated but on the other hand people are also saying that they knew they planned to cheat because if you're only going to give us 10% and we cheat, now we set ourselves up to win multiple championships. And when you it's all said and done, it's worth it because oh, we lose 10%, we lose 10% wind tunnel time and $7 million in, in fines and then we win a constructors and a driver's championship and then we win a constructors and a driver's championship and we do it again and again until those regulations are over and then 2026 comes up no it's just i'm not gonna say it's exhausting for for a journalist it's probably like they're on top of the world because there's something they'll write about constantly other than max being you know 22 seconds ahead but if all this shakes out remember there's 12 seats up for grabs next year 12 seats are gonna be up in 2025 so we could have a crazy grid where we have Lewis Hamilton and Charles Leclerc at Ferrari. We could have Max Verstappen and George Russell at Mercedes. And then we could have Fernando Alonso and Carlos Sainz, the smooth operator at Red Bull. Now, man, I don't know about you, but that's a grid that I want to see. That is must see TV. So, what it also says about the FIA is that it's really a house of cards and it's really a organization that's not very put together well. And the reason why I say that is because here you have Ben Suleiman doing all these things and all these people that work for him know that what he's doing is wrong and no one said anything. No one said, hey, you know, you can't pull. Tell us to say something's wrong with this Las Vegas track if there's nothing wrong with it. Hey, you can't change a penalty for Fernando Alonso. You're not, you know, one of the judges. You're not, you know, the sporting director. You're not the guy who makes these type of decisions. You're the president of the FIA. You're supposed to be over formula one and looking after its interests you're supposed to be working with the principals and making us money you know like roger goodell or like any of the other commissioners that are in charge of things no wait what is liberty thinking about all this liberty media american company has to be going wait you guys are burning our money doing this because you know viewership is down 10 percent and you know, Netflix was down 22%. No one wants to watch Max right off into the sunset. And the reason why, and what people are saying, well, what's the difference between Lewis Hamilton running off into the sunset and, and, and Max Verstappen running off into the sunset? But m remember, other teams, other drivers were winning races. Remember, there was competition in the other car, you know, not. Valtteri not so much but you had Rosberg who it was competition in the other car and we can all say and you know I like Checo but he's no he's not competition for Max I mean he's not Alonzo he's not you know Leclerc or he's not Science or he's not George Ross or any of these other guys who would give you know way more of a contest or a challenge for Max at least especially in the qualifying because Checo is just he's just not a he's a good race 
pace, but he doesn't. He's not. He's not really good qualifying. That's not his like forte. He's not known for being a good qualifier. I don't know if we should now call Formula One and get one of these shows like all my children in Formula One presents. <laughs> It's just, I know it's funny. It really is. It's just, it's just crazy to think that. All right, all right. I know you're gonna start me. And what, what's what, what's even funnier is that now when I watch Formula One, I know Max is gonna be way ahead. So what I do, I do two things. I I, I turn one of my channels. You know, on the F1 TV Pro thing, I turn one and I watch Lewis, and then I turn the other one so I can watch Yuki Sonoda. And the reason why I watch Yuki Sonoda because I think he is the new Kimi Raikkonen. Not not as talented a driver as Kimi was, but as far as his radio, he is, in my opinion, hilarious. But because he'll tell him like, "I am pushing." Just shut up. Like they, He just says what comes to mind. And he says, you know, his frustrations just come right out. There is no filter. And so listening to <laughs> Yuki, who I call Baby Godzilla, wong, thong, thong, coming out, you know, Godzilla versus, versus, no, it's not versus. It's Godzilla and King Kong that's coming out at the end of the month. And that's going to be must-see movie TV. I'll tell you that. I can't wait to see that in like IMAX or something crazy like that. But what's even more scary for all you red bull fans and all you mercedes fans is will you root for red bull if there's no max verstappen will you root for mercedes if max verstappen is in a mercedes car i can't wait to see all you traders you know all you people who i follow the team and not the driver like Myself, as obviously as a commentator and uh, a f- have a Formula One podcast, I like all the drivers. I won't say I'm all like them all equal. I have some I like more. You know, my my favorite three are Hamilton, Leclerc, and Yuki Sonoda, and followed by uh, probably Alex Albon and Nico Hulkenberg tied. And I'd love to see Nico Hulkenberg with all these twelve seats uh, coming up get a real seat. Where he has a chance to really show what he can do. Because you see what he did last week. He put that dog Haas car and he qualified 10th. If they gave him a car, I think we could finally get that podium, which I think he richly deserves. Because you never hear about Nico making trouble. And really none of the former drivers, one drivers are, are troublemakers. They all seem to be good young men and grown men that you would that it would be good for your kids to look up to you know all of them they all of them across the board i'm not and i'm not gonna say you know lewis everybody there has no scandals none of them are out there doing things that you wouldn't want your kids i mean there are there have been some you know improprieties as far as cheating on wives and things like that but unlike other sports it's not front page front page news they for the most part, stay out. They're not out there drunk driving and doing those type of things. For the most part, they seem to be pretty wholesome and everything is pretty kept, you know, within. But can we say that for these principles? Can we say that for the FIA, which just seems to be so, so downloaded with corruption? And if all of this is happening now what are all the other things that we don't know about that they know about that we aren't hearing yet and i'm hoping that now that all these whistleblowers and people are coming forward that we really get to the bottom of 80 2021 that we really get to the bottom of all these regulation changes when it happened to mercedes remember they kept saying oh you can't have the dos you can't have that front wing oh you can't have that rear wing oh that floor can't be like that they did all these things to mercedes to stop the hamilton train 
they haven't come out with one thing about the Red Bull car. And we all knew, well, us in the know knew that floor was illegal. That floor last year, even Sebastian Vettel, the year before last, was saying, I was following the Red Bull car and it was doing something that no other car does around the turns. And it had to do with the floor. So we all know it. You know it if you follow Formula One, but they let it go because the FIA is ripe with so many ex Red Bull employees. I mean, Ben Suleiman himself used to drive for Red Bull. I mean, how is this allowed? And that's one thing I want to say. And I want to finish up on this short podcast that we're doing. And as the world turns in FIA and Formula One, why is Total Wolf allowed? as a principal, to be the manager of George Russell. Why? Tell me what coach in European soccer is also managing players. Tell me which coach in NFL football is managing other players. Tell me what NBA coach is managing one of the players. None in no sport is that allowed. But in Formula One, no one says anything. To make, and Liberty, listen to me, listen, Liberty, to make sure that this sport doesn't go the way of the dodo board, a dodo bird, sorry, should I say that three times fast? Dodo bird, dodo bird, dodo bird, dodo bird, okay, got it. No way should they allow that to continue because at the end of the day, who is he going to, isn't he going to promote his guy that he has a vested cash interest in than the other driver that he doesn't? It just doesn't make sense. Does it make sense that Ben Suleiman used to drive for Red Bull and you're going to make him head of the FIA? It doesn't make sense. Why aren't you getting people outside that have no affiliation with these teams to be in control of? Of the governing body. Now that makes sense. That seems like it's not a conflict of interest. And if you need somebody who would do a great job for all the principals who would do a great job for Formula One, I'm available. That's right. (laughs) I'm available. Firefighter, squeaky clean, don't get in any trouble. I'm your man. Because the ethics are important the transparency is important it's important for people to see and believe that there's not shenanigans going on that's all we got today in this short formula one corruption as the world turns soap opera America F1, keep on racing, everybody.